Welcome back everyone. Today we're doing the front side flip. I definitely prefer to do them on hips and stair sets. I recommend those a lot more than just doing the flat ground front side flip. A lot more fun. But um, I did enjoy this because I felt like I needed to improve my flat ground front side flips anyway. So um, key differences between just a regular cape flip and a front side flip are mostly in the, the positioning so this is what a regular kickflip looks like um, in terms of the positioning. Um, and this is what a frontside flip looks like. This is how I set up for it. You'll notice that the front foot is pointed more towards the front and it is centered more um, towards the center of the board as opposed to being up top. Uh, this helps you get a faster flick and the point really just helps you position yourself towards the front end more as you should since of course you're going to be turning front side so it's just a, a way to have your shoulders open you'll notice that the more you point your front foot in that direction it's easier to open your shoulders and that's what you that's the key difference uh, between a regular kick flip and a front side flip you want to be more proactive in having your shoulders open because you're going to be turning in that direction anyway um, so just really starting that out with your by having your front foot pointed makes a world of difference. It may not seem like it at first, but you'll definitely notice that. So I like to break this trick into two different parts. Uh, really 90%, I would say, of this trick is in the first half of it, which is really just getting a 90 degree kickflip. Getting a, a, a kickflip and catching it at the halfway point is really most of this trick because the rest of it is just completing that 180. So I like to break down a lot of tricks into smaller concepts um, and just deciding which parts of the trick involve the most work or which parts of those tricks are um, the most complicated so that you can focus on that section of it and really just, um, you know, getting that down until it no longer becomes an issue anymore and then the rest of the trick kind of works itself out. So I think that's definitely the case for the front side flip because most of it is done in the first half. You know, you, you have the kick flip, which um, you're going to be rotating, which is much different than the regular kick flip. But once you get that different flicking motion down and you catch it, the rest of it is really just about rotating it the rest of the way around like a simple 180. So just make sure you have that set up different um, and then when you pop the kick flip you're really just going to open your shoulders and try to catch it at the halfway point so that is most of the trick at that point and then from that point on you really just complete the rotation like a 180 um, i know mine in most cases here involve a tiny pivot um, i think that's okay um, it's i think it's a lot to just expect to get the entire rotation especially with your um, first time trying this trick uh, in any sort of flip trick that involves, you know, a 180 flip or spin, it can be kind of difficult to get the full rotation without any sort of pivot. Um, so I would just recommend on, you know, just getting it down first and then over time, just if you don't like the pivoting at all, you can just uh, focus on winding up more so that you don't um, end up pivoting at all. Um, but I would get you, give yourself a pat on the back for even landing it at first because this is a difficult trick to learn. So um, with that being said, I think the front side flip is really just about the setup and catching the board at 90 degrees and just working on the, the landing from that point on, which is, um, I don't think, as difficult as the, the first half of the trick. So those are my tips for front side flips. I uh, hope to do some more 180 flip tricks practice videos soon let me know in the comments below as always what you guys want to see next and i will see you next time